Welcome to Sports Radio 88.9 Bella FM and we're in Italy where we have a Nigerian striker who plays for a Crotone in the Italian Syria. He's none other than Nato Chuku Simeon Mwakwo. Only on Monday he got a call up to the Super Eagles of Nigeria. He's part of a 30 man provisional squad. So you could welcome to Sports Radio 88.9 Bella FM. Yeah, hello, bro. So how are you doing? Uh, first of all, let me congratulate you. Uh, you got an uh, invite, some say surprise invite, but you are in the World Cup Provisional Squad, Nigeria's World Cup Provisional Squad. Thank you very much. Uh, what does this mean for you, for your club, for your friends, for your teammates, this uh, Nigerian invite? Yeah, from my club and family, it's all about it's, uh, a lot of good wishes and congratulatory messages. So, yeah, it's a happy moment for everybody around me, my family, my club and everybody. So. I'm glad and uh, I'm happy for the moment and a great opportunity as well. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. Let's get to meet you. Yeah, nothing much about me. I'm just uh, like any other young Nigerian player who is out there trying to do the best he can and become better and be an ambassador, a good ambassador to the country. So there's actually nothing about me, anything special. I'm just. Uh, I left Nigeria to play in Portugal from Portugal. I moved over to Italy and uh, it's been a success story. I can say I can't complain about anything. I've been taking my chances, I've been getting better, I've been growing, and uh, I'm happy the way things are going. So we keep going like this, and hopefully, better things will still come up ahead. Mm. It is 29 days before the commencement of the FIFA World Cup in Russia. What does the World Cup mean to you? What memories do you have? when you look at the World Cup? Yeah, the World Cup is a dream. It's a dream for every single player. I'm not an exception to that, so I can only say that uh, this opportunity to be part of something nice and big and huge like this, is I'm living my dream, so I'm just so happy for what is happening. I'm just so happy for being given the opportunity to come around and show what I can do. Mm. Let's talk about Italy now. Italy is not going to the World Cup, but only a few days ago, uh, they named Roberto Mancini as uh, their new manager. What is the word in Italy? How is it like when you look at the environment, your teammates, uh, the Syria, Italy not going to the World Cup? Yeah, Italy is not going to the World Cup. It was uh, a difficult moment, you know. Italy football is a huge part of the Italian culture and history, so that was a blow. Uh, Italy is a very great country when it comes to football. The league is fantastic, the atmosphere is some spectacular and uh, you know but I feel and I believe as a country they are with a lot of quality, talented players and stuff, they will bounce back and they will bounce back strongly. And now they have Mancini who is a well known coach and who can make the difference. So I respect it to bounce back for the best for sure. Mm. Uh, later this month, in fact on the twenty eighth of uh, this month Nigeria will play Congo DR in a friendly. This may just be your opportunity. What should we expect from Simi Tochuku Wankwo in this game? Yeah, uh, the game with Congo is the first game in the list of the preparatory games ahead. And we, like every other Nigerian player, every other guy who is coming to the camp, uh, we will just try to give the best and prepare the best way possible. Then. The coaches will decide who plays and who doesn't play and how many chances you get to play. It's up to the players to just go in there and give their best and that's what I'm going to do. To just give my best and try as much as possible to give my best and then we'll see what happens. Mm. One more weekend of action in the Serie A, Crotone versus Napoli. Uh, how are you looking forward to this game? Yeah, we're running up this weekend uh, with the last game against Napoli and there's been it's a tough one, but we hope to come out uh, of it so, uh, with something positive. And for Crotone, it's been a very long and tough season. We we did it, we you know we, we gonna add more points than we did last year, but we still found ourselves in a very deep position, trying to uh, save ourselves from uh, relegation and stuff. So it shows how the league is improving and how difficult it is. Uh, last year we. Uh, Less than over with low number of points than we have now. We survived uh, the drop, and now we are we have more points, and we're still down uh, on the zone. So it shows how strong and how competitive the league is, and we just hope to finish up on a high note. We just try and keep our best and do anything we can to come up 
with something positive in the weekend. Now tonight is the final of uh, the UEFA Europa League. Atletico Madrid and of course uh, Olympique Marseille will battle tonight in Lyon. Who are you tipping to win? The Europa League final will be a very great uh, game, just like uh, a top competitive game it is. That's what it's meant to be, so it's not about who's going to win or who's going to win for me. I'm just going to sit back and watch the best of football and the better team win. So I'm just going to enjoy both teams playing good football and then, you know, I just, I'm just supporting football, you know, the beauty of the game, sportsmanship and everything, so that's about it. Let's look at uh, your campaign this season in the Serie A. So far, you have seven goals and uh, uh, you, you were making the headlines and uh, one of the reasons why you got a call-up. How would you categorize your performance this season? You score yourself. Me personally, it's been a, an improved season like... Uh, you know, last year was my first year. I had to do my adaptations and stuff. Now this year, I feel more comfortable, more. I understand more the league, I understand the language, and yeah, when the opportunity came, I had to take it with both hands, and uh, I had to, you know, try and be myself, play a game, and it's been a very, very positive season for me. I think I, I developed so much more than I than when I arrived, and I'm getting better. So I'm glad, and um, I'm very hopeful for the future. Mm. What about the Champions League? It's not very far away. Liverpool and uh, Real Madrid. Yeah, the Champions League too is even a bigger one. So it's going to be electrifying. You know, Real Madrid and Liverpool, is, you can't expect anything less. It's going to be all attacking football. So we're just going to sit back and enjoy, enjoy ourselves with the games and then wish for the best for the teams and enjoy free games for the teams. And, you know, they will lead us to two spectacular nights and then we just wish the best team wins like always mm. okay uh simi tochuku simeon wankwa i want to thank you so much for talking to us today best of luck against napoli and best of luck uh when you come to camp for the super eagles of nigeria thank you very much 